On February 1, 2014, the Guelph Griffins football team held their annual Wildman Awards dinner at the Delta Guelph Hotel and Conference Center. The Wildman Trophy is awarded annually to the senior football player who demonstrates proficiency at his position, has shown tremendous leadership abilities, has a strong academic standing, and is a positive role model in the community. This season's 2013 Wildman Award recipient is defensive back Taylor Palmer of Niagara Falls, Ontario. Taylor showed superb leadership and dedication both on and off the field. Taylor is an academic All-Canadian in human kinetics. He is involved in a number of community charities, such as Big Brothers and the Wheels in Action Spinal Cord Injury Foundation. He is a believed to achieve motivational speaker in local schools. Taylor also spent time in Ecuador working as a volunteer with Free the Children, helping with developmental projects for children in third world countries. Taylor was a participant at the university's human anatomy program and a volunteer coach at the Griffins Elite High School football camp. Taylor had a stellar year on defense. He had 26 tackles and was tied for the most interceptions in the OUA with five. Taylor was a team captain leading the Griffins defense, which was ranked first in the OUA. Thank you very much. Um, you know, uh, being a part of this team the last five years and learning some of the history of, you know, this, this trophy and, you know, what it's all about. And knowing some uh, admirable players that have won it before me, it's, it's truly an honor to, to receive this tonight. Um, you know, it's important I thank my teammates, my friends, um, coaches, you know, everyone involved with Griffin football. Uh, my family, you know, my, my brothers Michael and Robbie and, and my, uh, my parents. Uh, it's, it's fitting to have you two here to share this with me tonight as you're the biggest reasons why I'm here. Um, you know, when you hear Griffin football described, it's, it's likely it's the main points you hear, you know, we're a team-oriented group. Uh, we have strong values on team, you know, we, uh, we play for each other, and that, that's all true. But, you know, there's more that goes into it than just, you know, put on the pads and hitting the field, you know. Uh, the, the program we have here, the Coach Lang asks every player to buy into it. It calls for, you know, strong performance and academics, you know, of course, athletics, and getting involved in the community and, you know, really anything extra. And I'm so glad that it's been a part of my life these last, uh, these last five years. It's, it's been a completely enjoyable experience. Um, you know, it's, I'm not saying it's easy. You know, sure, there's you know, late nights, early mornings, times when us players have to persevere through some tough situations. But you know, knowing every single player in that locker room is doing the same thing, uh, you know, it, makes it, it makes it all worth it. And uh, you know, I, I'm, just, uh, I'm just glad that I, I was able to live the lifestyle with these guys. And I, and I honestly think that's what brings us so close as a team makes us such a tight-knit group. So, you know, Wildman, yeah, it's great, you know, it, but it's a group of Wildmen. And for me to represent that group tonight, it, it's an absolute honor. It's something I will never forget. So thank you for that. Um, you know, with that being said, tonight's our night. Let's, let's enjoy it. Let's celebrate right, and, and thanks again. This year's Captain's Award went to quarterback Luke Nangle of London, Ontario. This award is given out yearly to the athlete who has exemplified qualities of discipline and determination, along with unwavering commitment to the football program throughout his career. The Support Staff Award went to Duncan Platts for his hard work and dedication as the team's assistant equipment manager. This will be Duncan's last year with the Griffins. The Unsung Hero Award is voted by all the players and is given to the individual who contributes the most with the least recognition. This year's award went to Head Equipment Manager Wayne Ego. This is also Wayne's final season with the Griffins. Scout Team Player of the Year awards went to running back Brandon Gordon of Mississauga, Ontario for the offense and defensive lineman Dan Horta, also of Mississauga, for the defense. The Special Teams Player of the Year was Andrew Graham of Union, Ontario. Andrew had 19 special teams tackles and a punt return for a touchdown. At linebacker, Andrew had two and a half sacks and one interception. Rookie of the Year honors went to defensive lineman Ian Maroof of Fort Erie, Ontario. Ian tallied 30 solo tackles and five and a half sacks in his first season with the Griffins. Offensive lineman and team captain Cam Thorne of Midhurst, Ontario was named Lineman of the Year.
Cam was drafted by the BC Lions in the seventh round in the 2012 CFL Draft and is a CSI All-Canadian for the first time in his career. The Tom Dimitrov Most Outstanding Defensive Player Award went to defensive lineman Cam Walker of London, Ontario. Cam finished with 26 and a half tackles and four sacks, which earned him a second team OAU All-Star selection. This year's winner of the Donald Foster Trophy, awarded to the team's most valuable player, was shared by two of our outstanding receivers, Saxon Lindsay of Markham, Ontario, and Alex Charette from St. Catharines, Ontario. Saxon tallied 44 receptions for 515 yards and six touchdowns. Alex had 30 receptions for 384 yards and one touchdown. He also ran back a missed field goal 125 yards for a touchdown against Waterloo. The Kyle Walters Award for the smartest player who utilizes film, training and practice to be the most complete player went to linebacker Pat McGrath. There were also special tributes given by their teammates to the fifth year players who are graduating this spring. This year, we said goodbye to Jacob Piotrowski. Cam Thorne, Carl Trivieri, Taylor Palmer, Dylan Dimitrov, Julian Tropia, Cody O'Neill, Lucas Machino, Corey Davidson, and Luke Nangle. Congratulations to all the award winners for keeping the tradition of excellence alive at the University of Guelph. You've made us all very proud.